welcome to another craft with art me we are going to be making paper plate monsters today here is the list of supplies you're going to need if you need to right now pause get all the supplies you're going to need and watch the video so get ready and have fun are we ready yes Okay, everyone, thanks for joining us for another arts and craft lesson with Art Me at Home. We're really excited to do another fun, maybe spooky Halloween themed craft today. Yes, I am here today. My name is Christine, and this is my friend. Who's my helper today? A Ronin. Ronin, that's right. He's going to be helping us do another fun craft. This one is a little bit messier. As you can see, we have lots of fun stuff in front of us. Yes, no, we don't eat. We don't want to put this in our mouths. All we have on it right now is water, but what are we going to put with water on our paintbrushes? Um, and the paint. Paint, that's right. Now, what do we do first, especially working with paint? Yes, we are going to put our aprons on, right? So let's put our aprons on first so we don't get your cool shirt dirty. Ready? your 
legs and arms and hair on your monster, okay? So I think that that's everything that we're gonna need. And markers, crayons, things like that to create your eyes and your mouth, okay? So I think that's everything we're gonna need today. Make sure you kind of have everything ready and then you can get your paints out, which is the most exciting part, the funnest part and the very first part because we want it to dry. So, should I start painting too, Ronan? Yep. Okay. Now remember, you need to choose one paint color to paint with that's going to be the same color as the legs and arms of your monster. Now you can choose to have different colors. Uh, it's just if you want it to blend all together so it looks like it goes together, choose one color. Going, so next part of our monster, <clears throat> let's work on making the legs of our monster, okay? Ooh, spooky legs. So you're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six arms and legs and then two smaller pieces, which is kind of like the hair on top. So let's make our arms and legs. You're gonna need some long pieces, six of them, then two shorter pieces. So eight pieces all together to create the arms, legs, and hair for your monster. Okay, so now to make the arms and legs, we used a whole piece of paper to make the long ones and then you have the shorter one. Okay, so to make the arms and the legs of your monster here, you are going to use a piece of construction paper. Like I said, you can use scrap pieces too. They may not be the whole eight and a half by 11 size or so, but um, if you have a big piece, what you're going to do to make the strips that you need, about a one inch size of a strip is what you're gonna need. So I'm gonna take one half or one side and fold it over about an inch. And you can use your ruler to measure. It doesn't have to be perfect, so I'm just kind of eyeing it here. Kind of like that, see? Now, I'm gonna continue folding it. Like this. See? Oh, yeah. And I'm gonna go back and forth and fold it. All the way to make my strips. All the way. And I made a little, 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 little. Mm -hmm. I made a little. Little, little. So, how many pieces do I have now? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six pieces. And they don't all have to be this length, see? Some of them are long, some of them are shorter. So some of them we're gonna cut in half. So I think one piece should be able to give all the pieces, all eight pieces that we're gonna need for our monster. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna cut these strips out. So we have the lines that we've created. Take a scissors and cut along those lines. Okay, now I have all strips again. The cutting is not necessarily perfect. It does not have to be perfect. It can be imperfectly perfect, right? So we have all six strips. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna keep four of them the long length, like this. I'm gonna keep four of them. That's gonna be the legs. Now I have these two here that are a little bit long for the arms, so I'm gonna cut them. I'm gonna cut them, so this is half. I'm gonna do a little less than half. I'm gonna do three fourths yeah, or a quarter. I'm done, so if you cut I'm it, done. if you have it, think you're done. Think of it, there's four pieces. Done, One, I'm two, done. three, four. I'm gonna cut a fourth of it off, right? Like that. I'm done, it doesn't have to be I'm done, exact. I'm done. Like that, okay? I'm done. You're done? Okay. So okay. now, I'm gonna put these strips back together like this, okay? And I'm gonna stack them so they all come to the bottom here. Now, how do we make these funky ridges on our arms and legs? How do we do that? We are going to just bend the paper. So again, about an inch, going back and forth. Up and back. If you need to, pause the video and catch up. Okay, so now I've folded up my arms and legs, and now I'm gonna unfold them and see how we have these little ridges for our arms and legs. How fun is that? 
Um, so we yeah. have these all ready. We're going to take them off to the side so we can continue our project. Now, let's check on our plates. My plate is pretty much dry. I made it really thin, so it's and really good to go. My is so this dry. This is good too. My plate is so dry. It's so dry. Do you want to keep painting, Ronan? Yeah. You want to paint this? Now, if your plate is too wet for this part, you don't have to paint the other side. You can keep it um, the color it is. You can just keep it white. You can even use crayons or markers or something to paint it too, or to color it. So, I am going to take some more coloring paint because we're gonna have more time to let this dry because what else do we need to do? Do you know what else we need to put in our monster garden? Oh, I know. We already did the arms and legs, right? Those are ready. What else do we need to do? Um, we did. The ridges, good job. We did make the ridges. We're coloring the ridges here. We need to do the eyes. We need to do the mother eye and the mouth. And the mouth, that's right. So we need to do that next. So I'm just gonna use whatever paint I have left here. Try to cover up my whole plate. Again, very thin, painting very thin so that hopefully it'll dry very quick. Now, if you are done painting it aside or you're not gonna paint it aside your plate, you're done with the paint. So make sure just to get all that out of the way so it doesn't get knocked over. Paint's off to the side because we're all done with painting. Okay, done with this, done with our paintbrush, good to go. Good. Okay. I'm going to put all the bits on it in the mouth. Yes, so now we are going to make our eyes. So and I this, made the bridges. Awesome, it might look a little difficult maybe on this bridges, guy here. Bridges. But they're going to be super, bridges. super easy. So if you can draw a circle, you can draw eyes. Super simple. Okay. So you have your plain piece of paper, or they can be colored too, but then they'll really stand out on your monster. You're just going to make two circles and put them next to each other in any size. Make them big, make them small. Okay? And they can be different sizes. Make a big one and a small one next to each other. You can make them long and the same size. You can squish them really close together. You can make them, I wouldn't make them too small because you're going to cut them out. So you can make them big. I'm doing the face. See, you're making a face. Good job. And then some more here, some more circles. So make, let's see here, how many eyes do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six eyes on our other monster we created here. So if you want to make about five or six eyes, that would be good. Okay, we have our eyes. Now, to make the pupils of our eyes, the ones that look like they're looking at you, just make smaller circles inside of those big circles. And you're gonna color those in. So you could just work with one color, but I think it'd be fun to work with multiple colors and give them multiple colored eyes. So make your circles wherever you want to. And then color them in with different colors. So I'm going to make some eye circles here. Okay, so I made some little circles inside of my eyes. Now I'm gonna take other colors of my crayons or markers and fill them in. Different colored spooky eyes.
the big ones too, see? And then mine the circle. Mm -hmm. Make sure the eyes are right next to each other. They'll be easier to cut. Okay, go ahead and draw and cut out your mouth and take the time to, to catch up on anything else you need to as well. We're going to be cutting out those eyes too and remember when you're drawing them, to draw them as close together as possible, the two pupils, so that they're easy to cut out. Now remember when you are cutting out these eyes, you do not want to cut the eyes that are next to each other apart. So you can see here, I'm cutting them and keeping them together. So it would be a lot easier to put them on if they're always cut together. Are you enjoying this project so far? We hope so. Take this time if you need to again, pause the video, catch up with anything you need to. If you need to still do your arms or finish doing anything else with your painting, cutting out your strips, all that good stuff so we can create your monster. All right, now we're gonna put the eyes in our monster. Are you ready? And candy. You want some candy for trick or treat? Yeah. Okay, well, let's put your eyes on. So what we're gonna do is take one of your eyes, put some glue on it, and you're gonna stick it on your monster. Pick a spot and put it on your monster. Good job, see? Okay, now I'm gonna use this side that's on the bottom of the plate. That's where I'm gonna put my monster, but his coloring is on the inside. So you can go on the outside or the inside. Do you want more eyes on your monster? So now, you're gonna go ahead, put the glue on the other side, this side. You're going to put all your eyes and your mouth with your glue stick onto your monster. So go ahead and do that. We had a lot of fun doing this part. This is a great way for little ones to definitely help with the project because they can put them anywhere in the plate they want and really be creative. Did they stick it on? Yeah. Awesome. Are we ready to put our legs on? Yeah. Okay. So now we've got all of our eyes and our mouth glued on. We're gonna take our stapler and we're gonna we're gonna staple on our legs and arms. Okay. So I'm gonna take my stapler and I'm going to staple each of my legs on. Now if you have a pretty long stapler, you could probably staple a 
both legs together at the same time. I just have a short one, so my legs on there. See? Smoothy legs. Now I'm gonna do the other side. This is the last part that you're going to create on your monster. So take your time to add your legs still or anything else you need to do and finish up your project. Yeah. So we finish our monsters, right? Woo, what's the monster oh. say? Oh, it's a very scary monster. Let me see. Do you want to put your name on it? So on the back, take a marker or pencil or crayon or whatever and write your name. Okay, can you write your name? Yeah. Do you need to help you? <laughs> okay, we sign the back. See? <gasps> we sign the back and now our monsters are on the front. <gasps> Yay! Do we love making our monsters? Yeah! Yay, they're so fun! Okay, what's the monster say? Oh my goodness, are monsters good for Halloween? Yes. Yeah? And it would go to treating. I'm gonna go trick or treating, okay? Say bye to everybody. Bye everybody. Bye, we're gonna go trick or treating with our monsters. Thank you so much for joining us today. Don't forget to clean up your workspace, that's very important, and enjoy your monsters. Thanks so much for checking out this workshop. We hope you had a great time and created some amazing artwork. So if you are interested in doing more with us, we'd love to know. First, send us your pictures and videos from today. You can check it out on our Facebook page and send it to us there. Or you can also email us at artmeohio at gmail.com and send those too. You can also check out our website, artmeparty.com, and see all the fun, different activities we do, and also these videos will eventually be up on that website as well. So, if you are interested in doing more with us, you definitely can, and we can actually come directly to you. Yes, instead of just doing these free workshops that are simple and fun, and you can do it virtually with all your supplies at home, we can bring all those supplies to you and teach you a fun arts and craft lesson. So we can do it for homeschool kids, for daycares, schools, anywhere, anyone, anytime. So please contact us if you are interested in doing a fun workshop with us. It can be something as simple as the arts and crafts you created here today, or some more elaborate pieces of artwork, like some paintings or some other fun artistic activities. So if you are interested, we would love to be a part and help teach you a little bit about art, have some fun, and maybe take a chunk out of your day that might be involved with a lot of schooling and have some artistic fun. So we're definitely interested in working with you and you can also maybe invite some of our fun character friends who might be interested to tag along and help with a lesson. So if you are interested in any of that stuff, please do get in touch with us. You can comment on this video, you can email us at artmeohio at gmail.com, and you can also go to our website where you will make the request. Uh, so if you have any questions, we look forward to hearing those. We look forward to hearing from you no matter what to see how you love the workshop today, what other kind of workshops you would like to see, and just some feedback. So we hope you're having a great day. We hope you enjoyed again this video and we will see you on the next one.